Hey, what's up everybody? This is me doing a speed run of the gargoyles and the bell just after the gargoyles. Okay, as you can see, I am picking the cleric class and I am also getting the master key, which I will change from the tiny beings ring. There we go. Alright, this is the first speed run I've ever tried to do. I am doing this on the PC using the Xbox 360 controller. And I'm definitely I'm not doing this live. This is post commentary. And I'm using a Blue Yeti mic. So I do apologize if you can guys you can hear background noise or anything like that. I've still playing around with the settings. I've only got this about a week ago. And it's actually on about 5% total volume level um, settings on the PC. And then I've taken the gain down to zero on the actual mic itself. So, I mean, this thing is really sensitive. And I also went to Clark Rubber today, which is like... I don't know if that's a worldwide store, but it's an Australian sort of rubber store. And bought a bit of foam, cut it out around the mic and stuck it over the top of it. And it's still picking up everything. But anyway. Alright, um... I... This wasn't the smoothest run I had through the asylum at the beginning. It was the smoothest run after the asylum, but through here I sort of stuffed up a few times, which you'll see. Nothing, nothing too drastic, but small little hindrances. Now it's very common for people who are doing speedruns to change their weapon through that fog door at the beginning. And yeah, you can see that's one of them there. I didn't thought I went higher than I actually did. But that's not much of a big deal. I usually kill this guy just because I couldn't be bothered spamming through what he says. I think if you do talk to him, it's like maybe a second or two faster, but it's not really much of a difference. Yeah, and as you see, that's another mistake I made here. Uh, after all the runs I did, that was the first time he didn't jump straight towards me, so I was pretty used to meeting him a little bit, um, a little bit closer. And that was the, that was the third mistake I made just there. But as they sort of, they, because they clumped up together, sort of made it a little bit easier, I guess. I usually jump off here at about um, 2.15 is the best time I, I did make, so I was at 2.19 there, wasn't too bad, just from those mistakes. Now this is Silent Demon, he's pretty easy. You, you jump down once, hit him twice with the R2, the um, heavy attack, and then one with the jumping attack, and down he goes. Now, after all the runs I did today, I was sort of averaging about 2 minutes 55 to 3 minutes going out of here. So, I mean, any if you're doing a speed run, getting out of the asylum at about 3 minutes is a pretty good time, I reckon. Now, um, when I get out of here, I'm going to be leveling. I'm going to be leveling up. Yep, so I can use the faith-based weapon that's next to the, um, the undead dragon down in the Valley of the Drakes. I figured that that's probably the it is probably the best weapon you can get on the way there without using say the um it's like this y-hander and stuff like that and the drake sword it's easily the best unless you fight the 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 dark knight or the black knight and get his halberd but i mean with the stats i have at the moment i can't even wield it and i don't think you can get enough souls quick enough to wield it at the beginning but anyway, yeah, just running down through the Valley of the Drakes. Do my little jump here. Now, actually, the first time I ever died jumping off there was earlier today. For some reason. Usually have that pretty down pat. And coming up to this undead dragon here. I stuffed up as well, but I continued to continue on with the run. As you see there, I just got the sword. I usually get the sword and the shield. And I was just like, yeah, whatever. I'll just keep going and see how it, see how it pans out. And it, it, did a, yeah, it went all right afterwards in the end, as you will see. I, I usually do get that shield because um, it's a bit easier to bait a few enemies holding their shield up, which I'll show you later on. But And I usually protect myself there, but the amount of times I got hit from that guy doing the runs today was pretty high. Alright, so yeah, as per usual on a speed run, just keep running. So much running. So much running. Eventually your finger gets sore from holding down the, the B button on the Xbox controller. 
I would much prefer to use the PlayStation controller because the buttons are, if you're holding them down for a long period of time, they're much easier on your hands. But um, the PS controller on my, yeah, I can get it working with the six axis thing that you can download, but um, it always cuts out for me. And like when you're re doing recordings and stuff, you, yeah, when your controller cuts out, that's definitely not what you want because you know in this game you can't pause it. So as you can see, just running, still running. Now this weapon is, yeah, it's pretty useful. I always get it if I'm um, doing any recordings or I usually play as a cleric. That is my favorite class, I'd have to say. Um, you can actually pick up that, you can kill this guy to get like a twinkling titan knight and upgrade your weapon. Because you can get a soul and like you can get about, I think it's about maybe 2,000 to upgrade or 1,000 or something. You can get that many souls um, without having to, you don't have to level up, say, your endurance at the start, which I did. You didn't have to do that. And there's another uh, few few items you can pick up to give you enough souls on the way here. But um, it's just a you know waste of time, really. Don't really need to do it. It does help with the fight later on, having a plus one, but it's not necessary. All right, as you can see, just running past everything, running past this big dude, looks like a lightning stick. Those demons usually, you gotta be wary of him because he can jump at you and hit you. But you know, if you run to the left, there, he never generally does it. So as per usual, more running, running, more running, and so much running, so much running. Um, I'm coming up to the church up here, um, generally getting there about seven minutes, which is I'm pretty close to getting there at about that. It's a pretty good time, I reckon. Just run past, his, and sometimes that guy does get you when he does that charging attack. Now, this is where I would like to have the shield, because I usually stand to the left, just where I'm standing there, and bait him, and he comes down a bit further, but I didn't really get it that time. Uh, but it ended up working out for the best. And now this is the most annoying bit, I reckon, in the whole run. Not that bit, but this guy coming through the hallway there. The amount of times he got me and just held me back and then, you know, everyone behind just gang bashes me. And it happened a lot of times. It probably happened about 60 to 70% of the whole, every time I did this run. But if you use the strong attack, um, when you're not two-handing, you can get a bit of a reach happening and you can get him pretty easily. Alright, so I got here pretty, before, you know, eight minutes, I think it's a pretty good time. Now, this fight did not go very smoothly. Did not go very smoothly at all. I did a few lucky dodges here, which you'll see. That one I didn't really mean, I didn't know he was going to hit that, I just like, was that instinct just did that. Yeah, um, you can always get a few free hits on this guy because he always puts the fire on when he comes down. But it's kind of risky because as you saw, you can get hit by the other gargoyle because he's quite persistent. And from here on, for a little while, I'm just running away from the fire because there's just so much fire. So much fire everywhere. Can't go left, can't go right. And see how much damage that does. Pretty ridiculous. So much fire, so much fire. Hot, 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 hot. Alright. As you can see, I'm just rolling, just rolling, just trying to get little pot shots off. More fire, so much fire. Panic rolls away. And so much fire. Pretty happy with that. He actually jumped and was in motion, so I did a bit more damage to him. Otherwise, I think it would have taken another hit. Right, and the gargoyle's down. So, you see the time? It's pretty good. That fight, I got in there just before um, 8 minutes and I came out like just after 9 minutes 30. So, that took over one one and a half minutes, which I think is pretty long if you're trying to do a speed run for this, but it's good enough. 
got sort of, you know, sort of screwed by all that um, fire. Now, as you can see, I got that um, W split, I think it is. Um, I downloaded it today. This is the first time I used it. So you can see here, wow, it's on default settings, but... And it... So when I, like, tried to stop it, I was like, no, no, don't stop it. That'll, um... I think they totally, like, wipes it. But anyway, guys, um... Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked my speedrun. I could... You could probably do it, mom, sub 10 minutes if you actually did a better fight on the gargoyles but oh well it's good enough all right thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time